What do you really know about the cybersecurity certification that you're looking to pass? In this video, we're going to walk through the initial stages of getting to know a cybersecurity certification. That way, you set yourself up for success before you even take the exam. Make sure that after this video, you keep watching the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. Also, if you're trying to break into cybersecurity, check out my Getting Started page for free resources and a copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. When it comes to cybersecurity certifications, there's so many available and each one has its own unique characteristics that you have to be aware of. For example, some certifications have experience requirements that you actually have to meet in order to get certified in addition to actually passing the exam. If you go blindly into preparing for a certification, you're literally setting yourself up for a disappointment. After all, attention to detail is an important skill in cybersecurity. So how do you get to know a cybersecurity certification? Well, let's dive in right now. One of the things that honestly will make you feel good about your certification choice is to actually do research on salary surveys that are done every year. These salary numbers aren't always going to match up with exactly your location and experience and some other factors, but at least when you get those nice numbers, you're going to feel good about what you're doing and be ready to proceed. So in order to get the salaries by certification, what you can do is you can go to Google and search something like top IT certifications by salary and then check out the actual survey results. So you can see on the screen here that I've gone ahead and done that. And so go ahead and open up this first one by global knowledge and we can see different certifications. Now you can find lists that are more specific to cybersecurity certifications. Generally, a lot of times you're going to be lumped in with all the IT certifications, but this is a good way to find out those salaries and make you feel good. And so on here, you can see the CISSP is on here, the CISA is on here, the CISM, the CRISC, PMP, all these different certifications. And they have some pretty nice salaries associated with them. The next thing that you want to do is look at how many job postings are up for the certification. Depending on if you're looking at a specialized certification or a general certification, Results are going to vary, obviously, but certain certifications like the CISSP might show up a lot compared to something like the CCIE, which isn't going to show up as often, but you actually might find out that the salary figures are very similar, even though there's less jobs for one than the other. So here in the United States, Indeed is one of the common job searching websites that people use to find jobs. So I've gone ahead and pulled that up here on the screen, and I'm going to search for CISSP and see what comes back. So you can see 12,808 jobs. And we search for CCIE and you can see that as well. You can see that CCIE has a lot less jobs, but the salary figures are very comparable because you're talking about 2,000 versus 12,000 jobs. So just keep that in mind. Now that you have some confidence and know what the job market looks like, the next thing that you wanna do is visit the certification website. So things to look for include who the certification is meant for, what are the areas covered by the certification, these are also sometimes called the domains or the objectives. So for instance, I have up here on the screen, the Security Plus website from CompTIA. And if we scroll down here towards the bottom, there's a section where we can actually get the exam objectives. So they're going to tell us what is on the exam. That's really important to know. I hope that you're enjoying the content in this video so far. If you are, make sure to hit the thumbs up to like this video. And if you think of any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Also remember that this training and courses can be found on my website at johngood.com without distracting interruptions or advertisements. All right, let's get back to the content. Now look at the exam itself. How many questions are on the exam? How long do you have to take the exam? Can you take the exam remotely or do you actually have to go into a testing center? How much does it cost? These are all really important questions that you need to know. And if we pull the Security Plus website back up here, you can actually see a lot of that information here. So we'll see a maximum of 90 questions. You get 90 minutes. You're going to get multiple choice and performance based questions. The cost is 370 US dollars. So again, all this information is stuff that you need to know in advance. Now you want to look at the requirements to actually get certified. Are there any experience requirements that have to be met? Are there experience waivers? Is it possible to take the exam before you have the experience? Now here we have the CISSP website on the screen here, and this is for the experience requirements. 
So you can see as we go through here that it actually lists what you need. So a minimum of five years of experience in two of the eight domains at least. And then if we keep scrolling down here, we can see all the other stuff. So what full-time work experience means, what part-time work experience means, and internships, how those apply as well. So these websites are gonna give you everything that you need to know in order to get certified. If it doesn't have an experience requirement, it won't say one in there and it will just say pass the exam. But again, you need to know what is required. Finally, I want you to look up certification reviews from other people who have taken the certification exam. These reviews can help you identify trends in areas that have caused other people problems as they prepare. You can also find other useful tips to help you on your journey. Good resources include Google, LinkedIn, and even YouTube. Question of the day, which certification are you currently researching or studying for? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we walk through the initial stages of getting to know a cybersecurity certification. That way you set yourself up for success before you've even taken the exam. Make sure that you keep watching the rest of the series on how to pass cybersecurity certifications. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.